All right, so the project today is gonna to be building a mount for this salt spreader. Um, I'm gonna be mounting it on the back of the four wheeler here so I can get it out of the way. It's basically gonna go like something like that. <clears throat> Just to transport it, I'm not gonna be spreading it while I'm driving. Um, but basically, so what I'm gonna do is that is one inch square tube, it's eighth inch thick, meaning that a three quarter inch square tube will fit into it. <clears throat> so, excuse me. Um, so I'm basically gonna go out, up, and then out again. I'm gonna have, make little clips for the, uh, this bottom bar to sit in. And then I'm gonna have some kind of clip up here to take the top bar. So let's get going. I'm gonna have the um, tube slide in three inches into that other square tube. So I'm gonna add three inches to my six inches. So you probably noticed I'm in a bit of a different setting than my last couple videos. For the trailer build, I had the luxury of using my coworker Jim's shop. Um, today I'm just at my parents' house actually, and this just goes to show you that you don't need a fancy shop to get by. Um, you know, little stuff like this you can do. I'm using uh, this Northern Tool wire feed welder. Last time we were using a MIG welder, but for this it's, you know, it, it, it'll do. And I'm by no means an expert. I'm very novice at welding, but it'll be functional. So here we go with the test fit. That'll be good. That'll be good. Now I was thinking about putting a cross member like somewhere, but I'm gonna drill a hole and put a bolt through it. So I may not even need it. Let's try it with the salt spreader. So I'm gonna use these little uh, 
doodads here. Plastic bits. Alright. Just getting the height check. Oh yeah, that'll, that'll work good. Okay, now I do own a Milwaukee drill, but this is all I have with me. Don't judge. Get a vice. Okay, so the drill died, so now we're switching over to a impact driver. We'll see how this goes. I always prime stuff that's welded with uh, coal galvanize.
All right, now let's try it out. Yeah, now I just need to figure out something for the top. Okay, so I finished the mount. Let me show you what I did for the top. So I got these mini adjustable bungee cords from Northern Tool and I snipped off the excess of it. Um, and then I bent these coat hangers into a hook so that when you take it off, you can just slip it on the hook and, you know, slip on, slip off. So let me show you a demo. All right, out of the next project.